Bonjour everyone and welcome back to my channel The Waves of Your Soul. Today I wanted to do a quick um, reading, tarot and oracle reading. I just felt really cool to do this reading because we have the new moon happening um, in Leo on the 8th of August and um, it's also actually happening to fall on the Lion Gates portal, you know, the 8th of August, 8-8. And the Lion's Gate portal is actually a cosmic alignment between the Sun and the star Sirius, which were, which is like the brightest star in the universe, well, in, you know, what we can see at least, um, after the Sun. So Sirius is a very bright star and it comes in alignment with the Sun on the 8th of August. In ancient Egypt, Sirius was um, a divinity, it was linked to the Nile flooding, linked to willpower, abundance, and you know, it's very much linked with this idea of everything that Leo brings, um, of willpower, self-expression, manifestation, inner power, courage. This year, the Lion Gates portal happens to be during the new moon in Leo, so I felt called to do a Tarot Oracle intuitive collective reading for all of us, for the, what's going on around the new moon for all of us, as well as in the next days after. So take this reading for, you know, what's going on around the 8th of August and the days or weeks after, but also putting the intention that it will speak to you regardless of when you watch this reading. So this can act also as a timeless reading. I hope that there will be something there for you to take, hopefully a message that can resonate with you, that can help you empower yourself. And if this is your first time here, hello, my name is Marine. I'm a French tarot reader and a lover of everything tarot, oracle and self-empowerment related. So if you'd like to see any more of those things on your timeline, then make sure to hit the subscribe button because I upload every single week. So today's reading, we're going to be doing things slightly differently. Um, this is not going to be a pick a card reading. This is a reading for the collective. So I actually wanted to, um, I'm going to try and make this format anyway for all of my future new and full moon reading where I'm going to pull some cards, of course, uh, pull some tarot cards, pull, pull some oracle cards, but I want to start setting the intention for the reading by reading a poem I found and I'll try to do that for all of my future moon collective readings. So um, this poem, a uh, particular poem I found is by Tanya Markle from her She Book Volume 2 and this is going to act as a way for us to set our intention to be here with the energy of this reading to kind of connect back to our bodies and kind of take a little bit of moment for meditation before we actually get into the reading. So, so the poem is called 214 and here it goes. Tonight I light a candle for all the seasons and shades of loneliness, for all the lonely souls wishing for more warmth and company, for the brave ones calling in community, intimacy and conversation. This flame is for you. Burn brightly so we know where to find you. So I found this poem very beautiful and I thought it was a perfect way for us to set some intention to, you know, um, collectively gather our thoughts to be here in this reading. And um, I want to use a stunning tarot for this collective reading by Jonas Ajas and we're going to be pulling some oracle cards as well. So why did this poem resonate so strongly for me for this particular um event for this moment in time is because there is a lot of heavy energy still going around in the world right now and uh, you know we are still faced with a lot of change there's still a lot of um, deeper energies going on for us there's a lot of turmoil there's a lot of um, worry and we have to be there's still a lot of storm going on in the world and um, this Leo season almost is acting as some kind of a breath of fresh air and as a fire brine burning so brightly to remember, um, for us to remember that in the midst of darkness there is always hope, to remember that even in the midst of the biggest storms we can always find a light and we can always find a light within us and with others. And I really felt very um, powerfully that this poem was a perfect depiction of what's going on right now, what this Leah season was inviting us to do. So let's pull some tarot cards and see what the energy of this Leo new moon is having. And we can see the first card that jumped. Look, we have the three of wands and we have the chariot. Wow. So already we can see that it's a powerful time for manifestation. So 
Um, we've just gone recently through a re quite a long time of planets going in retrograde. There was a lot of planets um, in heavier, you know, really heavier energy. There was a lot of destruction, a lot of upheaval, a lot of like very dense energy and collectively we could all feel that but for now in this powerful new moon happening during the uh, lion's gate portal the universe is inviting us to set our intentions for the next six months even for the next year and to really work our magic look at these three of wands with those three witches right here if this is not a sign that there's power here in power in ourselves and also power in number um i have you know this is a perfect card for that so this card is letting us know that it is a time where we should be trying to create something that will benefit ourselves but also our loved ones and the community at large how may we go how may we create how may we build how may we harness our power to create a new reality that will be benefiting everyone that will be a new reality where we can feel more vibrant where we can feel more nourished but also where we can feel like people you know um there's not that dichotomy of people going in two direction where things feel more at ease things feel more things feel more free as well i think there is a really strong here connotation around freedom whatever that looks like for you and this idea that no matter what is going on in your life right now you are always free in some way or another you know freedom is a state of mind in the sense that even when potentially our limitations are put on our day-to-day -day life maybe you're back in lockdown um we are where i live so you know or maybe you still have a lot of restrictions going on because of you know, the pandemic, etc., you're still free internally to make some decisions around what do you nourish yourself with and how do you feed your mind exactly. We have the King of Swords. So King of Swords and Seven of Swords, there's this idea around this new moon as well to pay special attention around uh, your mind, how you feed your mind and how potentially you want to make sure that you're nourishing yourself with the right thing and that you're protecting yourself from things that are not going to be benefiting your mental health. So mental health should be at the forefront. Sometimes when we manifest, we want to be overly focused. And the Three of Wands and Chariot, again, is, is saying that this new moon in you is a powerful time for manifestation, for setting intention for the universe, for planting the seeds for your future, etc. That's great. But sometimes when we manifest, we kind of tend to forget the other side of manifestation, which is it's great to create the life you desire. But if you don't actually look at the things that are not working within yourself and within your life, then you're not going to be able to manifest what you truly want because you'll only be manifesting some kind of dream where it will be just covering everything that's happening with glitter. But if it was to rain and the glitter was to fall away, you'd realize at the bottom of it, there's still the same rotten stuff that you haven't really dealt with. And, you know, it goes for everyone. I'm not, you know, for me as well. <laughs> this is a collective reading, right? So there's this idea with the King of Swords and Seven of Swords that, yes, it's a prime time for manifestation. Yes, it's a prime time for working our magic, trying to build this new future where we can feel free, where we can feel supported, but also where we can feel like we're doing all the best we can for the highest good of all, but also making sure that you're prioritizing your mental health, that you're looking at potentially any self-sabotage, kind of self-talk coming on, potentially feeling when you know your mind is just drowning. I find this King of Swords in the middle of the ocean very interesting because it can tell us that sometimes um, our mental health can make you know our inner chatter if it's quite negative can make us feel like we're drowning and um, it's important to come back up to the surface to breathe so that's another part of the message is if you've been really working very hard on your um, doing some shadow work doing some development some potentially psychological development maybe you've been going to therapy maybe you've been doing tarot readings meditation whatever you do to try and better yourself leo season and this particular leo new moon is also telling us to remember to come up to the surface to breathe remember that we don't have to feel so um, constrained by that and remembering potentially to inject a little bit of joy as well in our day-to-day -day life so we don't feel like we're sitting at the bottom of the ocean where everything in is dark and deep in our in our deeper emotions in our deeper mind um, remembering to come back up to the surface where the light is shining because leo is a very powerful sunny sign right leo is actually linked to the sun we also have the page of pentacles coming up so this is definitely encouraging you the it's this idea of planting the seeds for your future of a manifesting of you know page of pentacles 
is of an energy where we learn about the things that we want to create. So this is a stage where, let's say, you want to change careers and the page of pentacles is the idea of where you're taking courses, you're, you're uh, teaching yourself things or you're, you know, getting finding mentors, etc. that are going to help you learn uh, before you can apply for this new job, before you can change paths. It's the initial step. It's the step that maybe they're not necessarily sexy and fun it's it's the kind of stuff that we don't necessarily want to be doing like the life admin etc but it's what will set us up for our future so that's also the energy that this lion new moon is this leo new moon is kind of like inviting us to do um we do have this in this particular deck it is very much linked to sauce as a um, Egyptian, Egyptian god so this is very linked to the idea of learning so any one of you who wants to start a new course learn a new, a new language a new hobby a new instrument a whatever capacity that may be there's this idea here of really uh, being open to learning being open to being a student and it doesn't matter how old or young you are we are always students of the of our life but this is also a very good time for starting a new course like i said starting to learn something new starting a new book that you've been wanting to read to learn something new a new podcast you've been wanting to listen to um that's also a very good time for that let's pull some oracle cards to see what else we get fish so fish is linked to abundance it's linked to money it's linked to um prosperity so you know uh, we're being encouraged during this new moon to manifest for our dream life but also in a way where we're gonna be make building it for so we want to make sure that we're trying to strive for solid foundations this teeth card really is inviting us to make sure that if you think of teeth they are bones right they're like the structure of our mouth and as soon as the teeth hurt it can feel like your whole body is dysfunctioning <laughs> we don't pay attention to our teeth at all until one of them hurts and when one of them hurts it will ruin your whole day like you can't sleep it drives you crazy you have to go to the dentist straight away and it suddenly it feels like this one tiny thing is suddenly like taking so much space and so much power within your body so fish and teeth together is really a way to say Make sure that what you're manifesting, make sure that the seeds you're planting during this new moon are going to nurture, you know, this idea of prosperity, abundance, whatever that looks like for you. But also this idea of making sure you're building it on sound structures. And again, this idea of making sure to not just go for pleasure, but also making sure you're, you're taking into consideration your mental health. So if you want to manifest a new job, but actually right now you're feeling so overwhelmed, you don't think you could take on a new job, maybe it's not the best time to manifest that new job. Maybe you need to check in with yourself. Okay, do I actually feel like I can do this? Do I have the capacity? Do I have the space? Do I have the bandwidth to actually I welcome this in my life if we, if my manifestation was to come true and this is why remember i was talking about coming up to the surface to breathe to realize that sometimes we need to come up remember that there is light remember that we don't always have to be so deep so serious inviting some fun this card is a perfect representation of that because look she's literally coming up to the surface to breathe so couldn't make that up let's pull uh, one more card for this, um, you know, one last message from our guides from the universe around this new moon in Leo mask. So it's time to be true to yourself. It's time for us to drop any mask. It's time for us to reveal how we really feel. Potentially some of us have been going along in certain situations, certain relationships, fearing of potentially hurting other people's ego, fearing of putting boundaries, fearing of not fitting in. And the Leo new moon is saying it is now time to drop the mask and to speak our truth, to be true to ourselves, even if it means rattling some people, even if it means like shaking a little bit the status quo, even if it means that some people might get rattled. That's not our problem, that's their problem at the end of the day. You can only control your behavior your reaction as long as you're coming from a place of empathy of compassion then uh, you know if people get rattled by the fact that you're setting some boundaries and that you're speaking your truth you know you know that's that's again that's their kind of trigger so 
as long as it's in, in a respectful way, obviously. So this is really a time for dropping masks, for being true to ourselves. And I think it's a time for admitting to ourselves what our true desires are. May, and going below the surface of, again, not just the shiny stuff, but okay, let's say you wanted a new partner in your life. Why do you want this new partner? Is it because on a shallow level you want to go for dates and you want to be go, having someone to go to the restaurant with and you want someone to hold your hand? Or is it deeper than that? Is it because you long for connection? is it because you long for love and if that is the case uh, maybe it's the first thing to do by dropping the mask is realizing that you need to give yourself love first before you can expect someone else to give it to you so you see this idea of like really going at the core of our manifestation to realize what lies be within what lies below and how may we use that as a fuel to our manifestation power as a fuel to our creativity as a fuel to our passion to make sure we're building a future that will be benefiting of everyone for the highest good of all but also with sound structures and also in a way where we remind ourselves that life is meant to be enjoyed and that things don't have to be so serious all the time so this is very much i feel the energy for the new moon in leo for all of us I have a. I want to end those full moon readings with pulling a little um, animal. Um, this is from the Wild Messenger Alchemical Tarot, and it comes with a beautiful guidebook with um, you know that actually um, gives us invocation and and information etc on each of the card. So I want to finish this reading by pulling one of our the animal that will be the energy for us for all of the next few days and weeks around this new moon so let's see what animal energy is accompanying us at this moment in time for this new moon in leo who can teach us um, something what is the lesson and we have the seeker of water beautiful and we have what it looks to be like um I don't really know what those are called. Crane, I think. I mean, and the quail. We're going to find out. But here's a beautiful card. Seeker of water. It's. I'm going to read to you in the book. There is an invocation for each of the animals so that we can infuse that energy for us. And I'm going to read the invocation three times because there is a lot of power in the number three. Um, and this will be something that you can take with you. A very powerful mantra, a very powerful invocation to help guide you for the next few days and for this um, new moon upcoming. Kiran, I invoke your ability to find nourishment in muddy waters, your patience and stillness, your confidence flight. Kiran, I invoke your ability to find nourishment in muddy waters, your patience and stillness, your confident flight. Kiran, I invoke your ability to find nourishment in muddy waters, your patience and stillness, your confident flight. Beautiful. So I feel like this is a perfect summary of our reading. You know, here we're talking about speaking our truth and being able to navigate our true self even in the depths of muddy waters and of confusion and um, remembering that we are free and we can make the choices we need. And I feel like the heron is a perfect um, representation of that. So this is what I'm seeing for us. Really hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, something different. Uh, let me know if you enjoy the format, you know, the poems, the invocations. Um, trying to do something a little bit different. And, you know, I hope you'll have enjoyed it. And if you did, don't hesitate to give my video a thumbs up. You can leave me a comment. I love to hear from you. And until my next video, as per usual, I am sending you lots and lots of good vibes. And keep navigating the waves of your soul. Bye.